Hello and good afternoon. Colonel Helgeson coming from Valley Forge. I wanted to say hi to all the parents and alumni and give a little update on this year's plebe class and how they're one step closer to being cadets. Over the last weekend, we did the Forge Stakes in the college and the Crucible in the academy. These events push the plebes both mentally, physically, and had them work on their teamwork. The college completed their Forge Stakes, which began on a Thursday night and lasted 36 hours. The cadets competed in squads, and each event uh, was for points. So it started with a 12-mile force march with uh, a 45-pound pack. They did water survival tests. They did call for fire tests, first aid tests. They took uh, part in a truck pull competition, a paintball assault course, hand grenade toss, ranger PRT, a marksmanship course, and then the, the new Army's combat fitness test. All these events were done over 36 hours, limited amount of sleep and rest. On Saturday afternoon, the cadets were uh, awarded their cap shields for those who had earned them, and the winning squads received benefits like sleep-ins and getting out of some other uh, events. A wonderful job by Lieutenant Colonel Gamagorda and his staff putting this together. They worked relentlessly for 36 hours, making sure it was done safely to Army standard because many of these events were part of the ROTC training cadre's uh, mission that they had to uh, get the cadets through. And to watch these plebes and the MS4s work together and compete, push each other through, truly made you proud to be part of Valley Forge and watching our future officers complete these tasks. So as the college was off doing their Forge Stakes slash Crucible that started on Thursday night and went through till Saturday about noon where they ended with a, a, a celebratory barbecue, the Academy started their Crucible on that Saturday morning at 06 with the very first thing being a Valley Forge physical readiness test where they did push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, in a mile and a half run. We increased it to a mile and a half this year, and I, got, I have to say we had some cadets who just blew it out of the water. They then did a combat swim test, followed by a five mile hike where they carried stretchers with weights and worked together as a team. They had a paintball assault course. They had a relay race. They climbed the wall where you got different points for the different levels that they climbed to and then rappelled back down and it accumulated with a guide-on challenge which took place in the dark behind the field house where they had a cannon pull followed by pushing weights, followed by just a real good team effort amongst the four different teams. Here again, the winning team received a sleep in on Monday and Tuesday where they did not have to go to uh, PT in the morning and we were able to award three plebes their cap shield because they were the first three who had completed all the requirements. But again, wonderful job by the Commandant and his staff, mirroring some of the Forge Stakes events, being able to have both events go off between Thursday all the way through Saturday night. Kudos to the staff being able to make it happen safely, but most importantly, the plebes had a great time working together, overcoming challenges, and learning that they could actually do more than they thought they could. I want to update you on another exciting happening. Although the Philadelphia and New York City Veterans Day Parade are not taking place live, and we thought that we would not be able to send our cadets up there to showcase them and the band, we found out two weeks ago that we were able to submit a virtual performance by our band and our cadets, which we shot and filmed last week. And I'm happy to say that they have been submitted. So please look for those on social media on Veterans Day as Philadelphia, the city of Philadelphia and, the, and New York City will be doing virtual events. The other update I wanted to bring to you is you've asked for it, we've listened. I know for two or three years we've been trying to to come up with a way for alumni and parents and grandparents and everyone to order Valley Forge merchandise, well now we have it. The link will, it will be on our website 
and I'm happy to say that there will be a promotional coupon on the website so for your first order so please as you get ready for the holiday season great way for you to check out get some Valley Forge gear for you to sport or for your loved ones I want to thank everyone for uh, the continued support that we've received all the help of the staff putting together so many different things in the midst of a, a very tough environment we are still in class we are still having formations we're still marching we're still doing parades we're doing everything it has been different in this COVID environment but i'm happy to say it's been very very great to see these cadets pull together and support one another i hope you are doing well stay safe and thank you